everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the Atlantic. Now, as it relates to scene development in the Caribbean, it is getting pretty interesting because Euro is now showing that we could see maybe a tropical depression or a tropical storm form in the South Caribbean. So there is some increased confidence about something actually developing as we head into the latter part of next week. And so we'll be taking a look at what models have to show. But first things first, we're going into what is currently going on across the region. So let's get into it. Let's zoom in here. And we can see that there is some shower activity across portions of Eastern Islands, uh, sections of Puerto Rico going toward the Virgin Islands, and even down through the Windward Islands, there is still some activity across some areas, Trinidad, uh, Northern Trinidad, uh, even for Tobago and Grenada, and uh, some other areas as well. Going toward the ABC Islands, though, we're not seeing where much is going on. Similar story as we head into Hispaniola, going toward the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Bahamas, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and for sections of Jamaica. Uh, for some areas, such as some sections of Portland, though, there is some shower activity this morning. You can let me know what's been going on for you. But for most of the island, there isn't much. It's a pretty quiet morning. And then over in Central America, still seeing that there is some moisture, but there is a pretty big decrease compared to a couple days ago so as forecast things have been improving through this week now as it relates to the rainfall activity expected through today this is what the euro is forecasting so as we see more of those oranges and those reds that is indicative of more heavy rainfall so still across portions of the windward islands uh, sections of northern and south america we could see some heavy downpours at times similar story into the virgin islands puerto rico parts of the dominican republic and over in into sections of Central America, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, and even for Guatemala and the Bay Islands of Honduras as well. And it won't be everywhere across these various countries that will be experiencing periods of heavy rain. It's going to be across different areas and uh, things get drier for Belize, even the offshore islands, uh, the Keys, and sections of Mexico. So a whole lot of rainfall is not expected through today. Also, not a whole lot of rainfall expected for sections of the uh, Northwest Caribbean islands, which would include Jamaica. So there could be some heavy downpours across some areas, but nothing too crazy is expected and then uh, for the Cayman Islands most of Cuba going into the Bahamas and even the Turks and Caicos Islands and Haiti a whole lot of rainfall is not expected especially compared to some other areas which may experience more heavy downpours as we head through today now let's go ahead and take a look at what models are expecting in the zero Z update so GFS continues to expect that we will see development of a tropical cyclone next week it is even showing that there will be a major hurricane and i'm not expecting a major hurricane i mean a tropical depression or a tropical storm certainly possible major hurricane i mean it's not impossible but at the same time i give that an extremely low chance of happening as we head out to tuesday of next week there we can see that uh, there's a tropical storm in the southwest caribbean and that area of low pressure associated with the front making its way out pretty interesting up there Next, as we head out to Friday, the 17th of November, take a look at this. So it is showing a Cat 4 or Cat 5, Hurricane Strong Cat 4 going on to Cat 5 intensity right there, uh, making its way over Jamaica as we head into the latter part of next week. Again, I'm not expecting a major hurricane, but that is what the model is showing. It is bullish at times with these systems. As we head to Monday, the 20th of November, there we see it. So GFS then shows the system crossing over Hispaniola weakening as it makes its way out and then as it relates to Euro this is the end of the latest Euro run and take a look at this it goes out to Friday night of next week and there is that system forming so we're seeing more of those black squiggly lines and even that area of low pressure indicating that hey this may be a tropical depression at the time so euro is now starting to show that i wouldn't say uh, okay yes for sure a tropical depression or tropical storm is forming because again we're still over a week out and that will all be dependent on whether conditions are favorable or not but that increase in moisture is still expected as we head even into this weekend going through the week 
and again this is the end of the latest model run however if we should look at the wind shear forecast for that time here it is and as we see more of those shades of reds and those oranges that is indicating those stronger upper level winds which basically rip these systems apart so in the southwest caribbean is a little safe haven to say that hey the shear is not too bad it isn't it isn't expected to be but once this starts moving up to the north it is likely to encounter more shear coupled with that land interaction so those should help to weaken the system and even with uh, these fronts moving out as well there is an increase in that cool dry air uh, that more stable environment that remains behind and that dry air ingestion can actually help to induce weakening as well so we'll have to wait and see but as of the latest euro run as i said it seems as though it wants to show at least a tropical depression forming in the southwest caribbean the canadian model is also showing that pretty substantial increase in moisture this is as we head out to uh, Friday evening as well for the Canadian model we're even seeing hints of this uh, potentially expecting development as well icon is now showing that area of low pressure forming as well so there we're seeing that as the days have been going by this week other models have not really been showing anything much but now we're seeing some signals that hey there may actually be something forming, you know, models are now starting to expect that. So we just have to watch the trend and see if this is going to be continuing. And also the conditions out there, as I said earlier, the waters are very warm, 30 degrees Celsius, 29. Those will be helping to boost development. But we will definitely have to be keeping our eyes on the Southwest Caribbean for that area flow pressure forming and potentially intensifying into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. And the next name on the list for the season is Vince. So Vince is yet to be used. And if we should see development and it reaches tropical storm threshold, then it will acquire the name Vince. And even going to the ensembles, I also want to point this out. The ensembles, this goes out to the same time with uh, Europe here going out to the latter of Friday again we're seeing more members showing that an area of low pressure is going to be forming earlier there were just a handful and now we're seeing that increase for GFS at the same time we can see a pretty decent amount of members which are expecting that something will be developing and making their way up to the northeast, potentially affecting Jamaica, uh, Cuba, Hispaniola, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, who knows. That is not a guarantee. That is just what is expected for now, guys. But I'm here to keep you posted as per usual. And uh, this is getting quite interesting here. Uh, we shouldn't just rule this out uh, from the get-go. And that's why I didn't. That's why I have been talking about it because it is possible. And this is a typical origin spot take a look at this right here this is the typical place where we see these areas of low pressure forming and developing in the month of november so that is not rare to see either but uh, from the get-go i have been talking about the area every day i have been talking about it and here we're seeing some stronger signals and an increase in confidence as it relates to development still not a guarantee as i said i'll keep you guys posted on it though but that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you for now and i hope that you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions as always please do leave them in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise